Well, hello everybody, Mattisfaction here, and today I've already filmed this. But I was so excited about the Easter eggs hidden within that I'm going to take apart this thing. Now, I took it apart on a live. Steve made me do it. This is Steve's knife, by the way. I uh, do hope to have one of these one day on my own, but in the meantime, I have to live through him today. We're going to rock a monster, Zero. Today's music is classical. Let's do it! Gotta get all the ickies off my fingers, though. Alright, here we go. So, it's just three screws. I forgot what size they are, but this one is like a T20, T25. But we're just gonna get into it. Gonna use a little help from my old pal's good screw. I know I'm gonna need that. I know I'm gonna need this. Weeha! Let's close this box. Let's get this box. I know I'm gonna need that. And. Yeah, I forgot which one of these, but it's a big one. What size is this one? T15? Too small. Let's find the 20. That says 10. Here we go. 20. Yeah. 20. And this one was... T8? Maybe they were T10. As I pull out a T15 for whatever reason. Shoot. T10. Oh, I think it's going to be T8. Hmm. There it is. It's all out of order. There we go. You know what? Just for the funsies. There we go. There we go. Would you look at that? Give that a spin. And of course, we're going to need my Shoka Cola. It's got bearings from something else. It don't matter what. <clears throat> All right. You know what? I'm going to use this one. Here we go. Now, I took it apart. I oiled it. But I'm mostly just taking it apart so I could show off the Easter eggs hidden deep within. Like I said, I've already done a review about this knife, and uh, it is amazing. I adore this thing. And as, as you know, you know, this channel, we all about the squirrels up in here. So, naturally, put that there. Get this one here. Put that there. Boom. There we go. Put that there. Slide you over there. And here we go. Alright. So here's the blade. And I just did this just a few days ago. So I'm not going to clean it. I've already done it. But here we go. Here's the clip side scale. There's his logo. The band-aid. And on the inside. Boom. There it is again. That's nice bigger one. There we go. Get a good view. And then there's his name. I believe that's his name. Right there. I'm trying to get it to the... There we go, yeah. Shadows! And it's just cool because uh, he did this probably knowing that some people wouldn't really notice. I mean, this one you might if you really like paying attention, doing the lock bar thing. This one you might if you peek in, but it's the other side that has all these cool ones. Made in the United States of America. Look at that. I like that he didn't just put, you know, made in USA. He just put it right there. And then there's a California. 
But what I thought was cool, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but you know, California looks like that. The scale kind of looks like California. It's got a, a bit of a resemblance. I thought that was kind of neat. This used to be anodized, but now it's uh, stonewashed. I think it gives it a nice look. It can it uh, pairs well with the Damascus. There's his logo again. Look how thin that tip is, though. Man, I, I could never get over that. Just perfect. Perfect. Everything about this knife is awesome. It's comfortable. It doesn't look like it would be to some people. I mean, this jimping looks like it might hurt, but it's perfect. It's aggressive, but rounded. All right, let's put it back together. There we go. Internal stop in there. Like I said, it's already oiled. I already did this. Ah, it's just cool. I just wanted, you know, if you own one of these, take it apart. Look at it. That's just an awesome touch right there. All these little things. And this one's even harder to see. It's up there in the corner. This one, I just happened to catch it by chance. That's just awesome. Man, I love when people do that. It shows they take pride in their work. And they, they, they hide things. They encourage you to take things apart. Like, hey, you know, maybe there's a little something in there. You don't know. Take it apart, find out, explore. And as you guys know, I'm all about taking things apart. You gotta learn your knives in and out. I'll put it together all carefully. This is not mine, so I gotta be nice. Why am I singing music when there's already music? Now I will say on the live, I did have to bust out another bit it was kind of spinning together so we'll see if I have to repeat no all right good yeah we're gonna tighten that oh all right let's see where we're at it's a little tight you always want to tighten it all the way and then back off on it Solid. Look at that. Centered. Such a cool looking knife. It's unique. It flies out. It's gorgeous. I love it. Man. If you're looking for a custom knife to buy, and you're like, hey, I got this money. I want something awesome, unique. Armor knives right here. Get it. He's even doing a button lock one. Flipper tabs, perfect. As I as I fail it, but that was a user error. But there you go. I took it apart, showed you some of the Easter egg well, all the Easter eggs. But you got a better look at it. Last time I was trying to show you through there. That's just awesome. Pocket clip screws from the inside, so if you uh Wanted to take the clip off, you'd end up finding it, but since it's not reversible, there's not really a need to take it apart and look. But it's just cool that it's there. Woo! All right. There we are. All done with Zesquadel. I'm going to miss you, buddy. This thing's awesome. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to show you those cool things, but, you know, boom, there it is. So thanks for checking this out, and, uh, you know, catch you next time.